I would like to recite the blueprint of a man. I want to ask you a question, and that is, what is your life's blueprint? When a building is being constructed, there usually is an architect that draws a blueprint. And the blueprint serves as a pattern, as a guide. And a building is not well erected without a good solid blueprint. Now you are in the process of building the structures of your lives. And the question is whether you have a solid, a sound, and a proper blueprint. Now I want to suggest some things you should have in your life's blueprint. First, you must have deep belief in your own dignity, in your own worth, in your own somebodyness. Always feel that you can count. Always feel that you have substance. Never let anybody to tell you you're nobody. Secondly, in your life's blueprint, you must have as the first principle ultimate determination to achieve excellence at the various fields of endeavor. As the years unfold, as the days go by, you will be deciding what you will do in life, what your life's work will be. Set out to do well. And I say to you, there are doors opening to you, doors of opportunities that were not open to your mothers and fathers. And the great challenge facing you is whether you'll be ready as the doors open. Ralph Waldo Emerson, the great essayist, said in a lecture he gave in 1871 that if a man can write a better book or preach a better sermon or make a better mousetrap than his neighbor or even builds his house in the middle of the woods, then the world will make a beaten path to his door. Now, if it fails that your lot to be a street sweeper, then sweep streets like Michelangelo drew pictures. Sweep streets like Beethoven composed music. Sweep streets like Leontine Price sang before the Metropolitan Opera. Sweep streets like Shakespeare wrote poetry. Sweep streets so well that all the hosts of heaven and earth have to stop and say that here lived a great street sweeper who swept his job well. If you can't be the pine at the top of the hill, then be the shrub in the valley. Be the best little shrub on the side of the hill. If you can't be the sun, then be a star. If you can't be the highway, then be a trail. It isn't by size that you win, and it isn't by size that you fail. Be the best of whatever you are. Now I would like to introduce the man whose blueprint I follow in my life, Reverend Jesse L. Jackson, Sr. Thank you, Rainbow Push Excel, for this great opportunity.